layered grapevine step that has a nice leg accent on it. This makes a beautiful transition to move from traveling one direction to another, or you can use it in continuous fashion to, uh, as a traveling step of its own. So like I said, this is built on a grapevine kind of an idea. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be crossing over first. So we're gonna go cross, out, cross, and then bring, swing the leg out. So the leg isn't going to like kick out or have any kind of this, like a bent knee or anything like that. The leg's going to kind of just come out straight. And then this one's going to go across the front. Cross, out, cross, release the leg. Cross, out, cross, you can let it touch the floor. Cross, out, cross, and here. Of course, you could do the same thing to the back. Back and back, back and back, back and back. Okay, so let's talk about the layering part. I'm going to use the step in the front. You want to use the step in the back? Go for it. So we're going to use an undulation on the layer. So when I say undulation, I mean a body roll from the top down. Leave the chest, lift with the ribs, roll down through your abdominal muscles and release at the bottom. So when we're going to match this on the step. We have two parts. We have the cross step and then we have the out step. So we're going to divide our undulation into two parts. We have the forward and lift. And then we have the roll down. So as we put this on here, we're going to do the forward and lift on the cross step, the roll down on the out step. The forward and lift on the cross step, and the release coming of the leg here, coming out as we roll down. So we have up, down, up, release the leg, up, down, up, release the leg, and then we turn it back, back, back. So you notice how I'm doing it this time, I'm kind of turning my torso a little bit. So this becomes kind of a rond de jambe type of thing from ballet, and I'm bringing my body around with it. So in this way, you could use this step to go in a zigzag fashion, up, your, up or down your stage. So okay. let's just talk about one more thing. Let's talk about some arms. We're going to be traveling side to side, so I want our arms to make sense with what we're doing. So we're going to use a directional arm. We could use a very simple directional arm like this that just goes from one side to the other side, like this. And if we wanted to do that, it would look like this. We would look up, down, up, release, up, down, up, release, up, down, up, release, like that. We can make the arms a little bit more flowing if we wanted. Have them kind of like a nice little Egyptian wrist, kind of flowing from one side to the other. In that case, it might look more like this. Up, down, up, release. Up, down, up, release. Up, down, up, release. Up, down, up, release. Like that. And of course, you can always do this arm here. Um, you can take your arms up like this if you want something a little more angular. Let you have some fun with that. So let's put some music on and try this. Okay, we've got some music, so let's go ahead and try this. Arms up. Up, down, up, release. Up, down, up, release. Up, down, up, release. Up, down, up, release. Let's come back. Let's try a different arm. Let's go up here. Up, down, up, release. Up, down, up. start with the footwork, add the layer, then add the arms. Then you can use it to try to change your floor pattern, try the zigzag, try going straight back and forth, try crossing the front and try crossing it back, and be creative with your arms. So uh, that's what I have for you today. If you are not familiar with the other days of the Daily Belly Dance Quickies, take a look in the box down there and check it out. And uh, maybe doing something fun on uh, the DBQ Twitter account. Um, I'll talk to you a little bit about it more in the DBQ itself. You can check it out. And so for now, have a good weekend. Bye!